Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how you can add app privacy details on the App Store. Log into your App Store Connect account and ensure that the account through which you log in has an account owner or admin role. Once you are logged in, click on My Apps and then select your app. After opening the app, you'll find the App Privacy option in the side menu. Click on App Privacy to open the App Privacy page. Now click on Get Started to start the App Privacy Questionnaire. Here you will see the Data Collection screen. Now select Yes, we collect data from this app option and click on Next. On the next page, you'll be prompted to check the boxes for all data types that the app collects. Now let's check the data types in detail. First is contact info. If you require the users to enter their personal details anywhere in your app, you need to check the respective checkboxes. Under contact info, check the name and email address checkboxes. Now scroll down and move to the user content data type. Under user content, check the emails or text messages checkboxes. Now move to the identifiers data type and tick mark the device ID checkbox. Please note if your app collects any other data types such as health and fitness, financial info, location, sensitive info, context, browsing history, search history, purchases, usage data, diagnostics, or any other data type, then you, ne you need to check the boxes for the respective data types. Once you have checked the boxes for the data items, click on Save. You'll be redirected to the Privacy Policy page where you can refine the privacy information for the selected data types. For each of the enabled data types, you'll have to indicate how the collected data is used. Let's first take the name data type. Click on the setup name label to complete the questionnaire. Here you need to in indicate how the names collected from this app will be used. Check the app functionality checkbox and click on next to move to the next question. For the next question, select yes. Names collected from this app are linked to the user's identity option on, and click on next. Review the information in the next pages and click on next. Here you need to indicate if names will be used for tracking purposes. Select no, we do not use names for tracking purposes and click save. Once your data is saved, you can check the details under the name data type. If you want, you can edit the responses as well. Now let's move to the email address data type. Click on the setup email address label to move to the email related questionnaire. Check the app functionality checkbox and click on next to move to the next question. Now select yes email addresses collected from this app are linked to the user's identity option and click on next. Here you need to select no we do not use email addresses for tracking purposes option. Once done, click on save. Now moving to the user content, email or text messages data type. Click the setup emails or text label to move the questionnaire. Click the ch app functionality checkbox and click on next to move to the next question. Now select yes emails or text messages collected from this app are linked to the user's identity and click on next. For this question, you need to in indicate whether the emails or text messages will be used for tracking purposes. Here select no, we do not use emails or text messages for tracking purposes option and click on save. Now coming to the identifiers, device ID, data type. Click on the setup device ID label to complete the device ID related questionnaire. You need to indicate how the device IDs collected from this app are used. Here, check the app functionality checkbox and click on next. Now select yes, device IDs collected from this app are linked to the user's identity and click on next. Here you need to indicate if the device IDs will be used for tracking purposes. Select no, we do not use device IDs for tracking purposes and click on save. Once you have provided the app privacy information for all the data types that your app collects, then click on the publish button to allow your users to see all your your app privacy details. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.